Hi, this is Pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In this video, I want to talk about Eliquis. This is part of the 101 series where I just kind of cover the major points uh, if you're considering Eliquis or your doctor is talking to you about it. Before we get into the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up if it was helpful and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on medications, supplements, and those sorts of things from a pharmacist. So hopping right into it, Eliquis is a newer, you could classify it as a blood thinner, basically like warfarin. Um, it's used to treat or prevent deep vein thrombosis, which is those clots that you can get that can get thrown into other parts of your body. So deep vein thrombosis as well as pulmonary embolisms. Um, we can use it to decrease stroke risks in, in certain individuals and it's also used post-surgery, which is somebody gets a total hip or a total knee replacement, uh, a good chance they're gonna be put on Eliquis. So um, as far as how it acts, it is different than the warfarin and some of the other blood thinners. It actually blocks platelet activation and you're probably somewhat familiar with platelets. That's how we form clots or a big part of how we form clots. So when that's inhibited, we do see blocking of clot formation in the body. So. With that being said, Eliquis is available in two different strengths, a two and a half and a five milligram tablet. Now, as far as the dosing that you see, if, if we're trying to treat or prevent deep vein thrombosis or, or a pulmonary embolism, we start them out at a little higher dose then drop it off. And that means 10 milligrams twice a day for seven days and we'll drop them off to five milligrams twice a day um, for the duration. And then in a hip and knee surgery, if somebody comes out of that within 12 to 24 hours post-surgery, we want to put them on two and a half milligrams twice a day. Again, 12 to 24 hours after surgery. In regards to how you can take the medication, food doesn't really matter. So it can be taken with or without food. So again, if you take something like warfarin, you have to worry about foods that contain vitamin K um, because it could lower the effectiveness. And then it is okay to crush or chew um, Eliquis, which is important to remember. You can even put it in apple juice, applesauce, that kind of stuff. Now the side effects, obviously the biggest side effect by far is an increased bleeding risk. You, you can have a hemorrhage. It's really difficult to put a percentage on it, um, but you know, you're gonna be looking at anywhere from probably not over 10%. Um, and it depends again, how do you classify the severity of that hemorrhage? But I'd say, you know, anywhere from two to 6% of people it's, are at higher risk. So that's gonna be the biggest side effect that you wanna keep an eye out for. Epistaxis is basically a nosebleed, fancy way of saying a nosebleed. We see that in around 4% of people. Nausea can occur. So again, if it happens, you can take it with some food and hematuria, which is blood in the urine. Again, all these side effects, except for nausea, revolve around increased bleeding risk. So nosebleeds, blood in the urine, just general bleeding, those are side effects of the medication. And finally, a good question that I got from somebody um, was, can I drink? Can I, can I have an alcoholic beverage when I'm taking Eliquis? I'm gonna give you the, <laughs> The pharmacist answer, answer, which is no, it's a bad idea. And the reason it's a bad idea is not because I'm anti-alcohol by any means. Um, it's just alcohol acts as a blood thinner. We don't want to increase the risk of your the risk of you bleeding. So the short answer is no, it's not a good idea. Obviously, talk to your doctor about that. Um, if you're going to be on it long term, I think that's something that you can work out with your doctor to have a glass of wine or a beer or something like that. You're just not going to be able to get carried away with it. But again, that's for people who are on it long term. Post-surgery, when you're on it short term, usually I just stay away from the alcohol. Again, any questions, talk to your doctor. Now real quick, at the bottom of the video, please comment if you've taken Eliquis, know anybody who has, have any experience, I'd love to read your comments. I'll do my best to chime in if you want some feedback on some of those things, but uh, I appreciate any comments. Again, Curtis Alexander, hope the video was helpful and until the next one, we'll see you later.